I'm Chef Mark with Escafe Online, International Culinary Academy. Today we'll be discussing molecular gastronomy, which has been called mold gas by their participants. Molecular gastronomy is a sub-discipline of food science, and it seeks to investigate some of the practical use of the physical and chemical properties, kind of tweak them around and change them. Uh, it's been called the cuisine of deconstructivism, which means they've deconstructed the dish and reform it into shapes you wouldn't recognize. So uh, it's an interesting part of modern cuisine. Some people call it modernist cuisine or the cuisine of deconstructivism, a difficult term in the culinary arts. But it's the way that people have, for a long time, used science to separate out flavors and actually break up and reconstitute uh, food to make it look different and to taste. Uh, it could be a roast beef, but actually looks like a pizza. So they kind of rearrange things around so that it's kind of unique. You can do molecular gastronomy at home or in a restaurant. A few things you must do is study up on molecular gastronomy and buy some of the scientific equipment that are needed for this. And that would be a uh, small, low temperature circulating water bath, uh, a vacuum machine, and pretty much you can be on your way to creating dishes um, that uh, are done by this method of cooking. What are some of the methods? Well, one of the methods that was practiced over 100 years ago by a, a British scientist was taking a leg of lamb and put it into an oven for eight and a half hours at 167 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very slow cooking, and that's what a lot of catering businesses will use today. Uh, large volume feeding, where they wanted the same exact airline feeders, the same exact temperature is slow cooking, and that's one of the hallmarks of molecular gastronomy, is slow cooking of the meat. Usually it's seared off, like a lamb rack, seasoned, and then it's put, put into a uh, vacuum seal, and then cooked very slowly, uh, 17, 19 hours at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So there is no shrinkage, uh, and uh, the yield is quite spectacular. That's one of the benefits of that. Molecular gastronomy is a cooking style uh, practiced by both scientists and chefs now. It takes place in labs and in, in kitchens. Uh, nothing that will probably catch on like wildfire. It is a, it is a fad, uh, but its best example is in the pastry arts, and that's been very exciting. Or you can take a classic Escoffier recipe like peach melba, which is an isaco, a poached peach, ice cream, and then melba sauce and some almonds, and then reconstruct that, and take the product, mix it with uh, alginates or algae, uh, and then extrude it, put into um, a frozen uh, or a nitrogen gas, and it freezes the ice cream into a different shape, uh, into, into, it becomes spherical. So a lot of things are done with microgastronomy, and the best practitioners are worldwide, certainly the most famous one would be Ferran Adrian, who owned El Bulli for eight years. And in the United States, we have um, Grant Etches of Alenia and Next in Chicago, along with Omaro Cantu that owns Modos in Chicago, great practitioners. Heston Blumenthal in London, these are some of the chefs, along with Nathan Meyervold and his landmark book, Martinist Cuisine, where he discuss, discusses um, liquor gastronomy and it's approachable at home. You can do it from home. You can do it from uh, a restaurant. It takes a little longer, a little different planning process. It isn't quick out, uh, like a steakhouse. You can't turn it out that quickly. But it's something you can sell to customers. And certainly it's very good for catering as well, uh, whether you're a home private chef or a commercial chef, to set up your kitchen to provide modernist cuisine or the cuisine of deconstructivism. It's very unique. It uh, it's, uh, can be trendy around for 15 years now. It's the best example in the pastry arts where there's lots of different flavors that you can change the structure, uh, reconstitute the product, freeze it, uh, and or make it into a different shape. Uh, and that's the popularity of microgastronomy. A lot of fun, it's a great art form. Uh, sometimes the food doesn't look like it's supposed to be, just like something else, it's certainly food. And that's the part of any art, is that art changes. Food is the culinary arts, and the culinary arts has evolved into what we call modernist cuisine. Very exciting, very unique.